Welcome to the Corps Report. I'm Corporal Remington Hall. And I'm Corporal Aria Herrera. As you know, Secretary of Defense Ashton Carter announced President Barack Obama's nomination of Lieutenant General Robert B. Neller as Commandant of the Marine Corps. So here's what happens now. If General Dunford is confirmed as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Lieutenant General Neller will have a Senate hearing to be confirmed as the 37th Commandant of the Marine Corps. Lieutenant General Neller currently serves as the Commander of Marine Corps Forces Command. Make sure to check back for more updates on your next Commandant. Another big announcement, Secretary of the Navy Ray Mavis changed the maternity leave policy for the Department of the Navy. Women serving in the Navy and Marine Corps will now have up to 18 weeks of maternity leave available to them during their child's first year. For all the details, click the link in the video description. Secretary Mabus also has a website set up for news, resources, and frequently asked questions about the Office of Personnel Management Data Breach. For more information on how you can keep your info secure, click the link in the video description. Last week, service members with U.S. and Australian Armed Forces teamed up to kick off Exercise Talisman Sabre 2015 in Northern Territory, Australia. Talisman Sabre is designed to increase both countries' ability to plan and execute in a full range of operations, from combat missions to humanitarian assistance efforts. The exercise will run until July 18th. For more information, click the link in the video description. Remember, you can catch up on everything else going on around the Corps by logging on to our official social media sites. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next payday. Right here on the Corps Report.